So the first simple draw to do is nuke uch. If you have a boken or an Iido blade like this one, it's going to be the same thing. You want to have a little sheath covering it if you have your boken, and you can get those at a store. Uh, so the first one is nuke uch. You want to say it over and over to yourself as you're taking the sword out, as you put it away. So as I come out and do nuke uch, I want to not really look at what's happening with my hands down low. I just want to keep my eyes out, up and my head is always scanning the whole time because I might nuke uch in any direction. And this is what you should start to do after a while is just pick multiple directions to do this simple draw, nuke uch. Putting the sword away is another important thing. So after I've done nuke uch, I want to pull the sword all the way to the end of the saya, which is called the koyuchi, or the golf tube if you're using a boken. And then I'm just going to pinch it with those two fingers and pull it along till I can feel the end drop in and then put the sword away. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but this is really basic so that I could just be at home and just be doing this over and over again not looking at it, just so I could feel that tactile touch on how do I put the sword away. And what that's called, it's called noto. Noto means to put away. So I can be pulling it out and putting it right back in. So then I would just go through that, maybe even watch my posture in a mirror if I was at home with solo training, so that my, my shoulders are even, I have a good stance, I'm breathing, my back's up and down straight, and then I'm putting it away, noto and then ending up in a really good stance again. I could do this falling backward. I could do it stepping forward. And it's all practice, getting that touch and doing repetitions of draws over and over again. So that's a really good draw and a put away technique to do. It's called Nuki Uch and putting it away is Noto. So let's add a cut into that and we'll make a little fun form out of it. So, as I step forward with Nuki Uch, I'm going to pull my hands up together in Dai Jodan and step forward with a cut. So this cut is called Kiriyarosh, downward cut. And then I'm going to hold the sword out here to the side. This is a ready stance called Sanshin. Katate Haso, one-handed Haso, Chiburi. And then Zanshin again. And then Noto. So this is a lot and it sounds like a lot here in this form but it's a very simple form that you can just perform over and over again and it's giving you different ways and stances on how to draw how to cut and how to put away the sword so in doing this form and saying those words over and over again what you're doing is you're starting to give yourself the ability to have tactile touch know where your sword and your sire are at at all times and then start to step out at different angles and perform these things. And you're getting the Japanese verbiage going in through your brain as you're doing it at the same time. So give this simple form, Shohato, a try at home. And that will give you a really good start on doing it all uh, with, the, with the draw, with the put away, with the cuts, and with the preparation that comes behind it. Remember to breathe, keep your back up and down straight, and have your body be nice and loose. This is a really good way to train. If you only had a few minutes a day, this is how I would start to do my sword training as a beginner.